Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and this one is on uh, Forbidden Forest and Dobby's release from 2010 and 11, of course. So now you're probably wondering, like, what about the 2005 range? Well, those which go for a lot on eBay and Bricklink, of course, so don't expect that from me, but, but anyways, let's enjoy the reviews. So on the front of each booklet, you see that the, the two logos in that order that carries on for the 2010 and 11 Deathly Hollows waves, and also a picture of the sets that there are, and Lego logo, and on the back, how to win on the online survey, Evil Win Kid, and then out of Lego Club, and out of all the pieces that come with the set, with that. and then the last building step. And also the start of which is the years one through four video game, of course. Lego Club, years five through seven game, and then add most of the sets. That's for this wave of which, so expect reviews on some of them pretty soon as well. And also, also the classic board game piece game set of which, of course. And then all the pieces included, and there. and also the feature of the set and last step. So from left to right is, first we have uh, Narcissa Malfoy, which is mother of Draco and uh, Lucius's wife, of course, uh, which who we haven't seen in any very many in any sets since this one, and of course holding the black bar wand, of course, and besides that hair piece of which done quite a lot in various ones, but but has some good printing to it, like and also do get. It's a good front torso print and a slope skirt, a slope dress piece done quite well. Then. And we have Rubius Hagrid in this later form of which, which is kind of similar to the 2004 Prisoner of Azkaban versions, but at least does have an updated face print, and but with updated print and all over, of course. And then Last of which is he who was not be named, and who of which kind of identical to his version in the uh, Dimensions or Lego Dimensions team pack of course. Same with Harry as well. But yeah. And you can see holding snake piece, probably representing the genie, and, and of course white bar wand of course, and and also included in both sets is Harry himself of course, and. And of course, this version has still having that same hair piece that he's had since the start, at least until updated with 2018, and also regular minifig legs, of course, at least until the 2018 version, or 2018-19 wave, did give the mid legs, of course. And onto Lucius Malfoy, which kind of similar to other versions in the past, but hair piece kind of the same as well, and and face print of which done well, of course. And last of which is everyone's favorite annoying house elf, Dobby. Of which, I see the headpiece of which, same as from the 2002 uh, one, of course. But at least in, they completely updated that, but just with some printing to it. But it was completely updated with the 2018 through 20 versions, of course. And, and of course has printed tile. Well, with a sock on it represented as the sock that Harry uses to free him with, of course. And with his front torso printing, done quite well, of course. And if you look from the backs of each of which.
anything. <coughs> and let's see. So Lucy Smile Boy using some special uh, mask based printing. Done pretty well, of course, and of course nice black torso printing for Narc for Narcissus, Narcissa, of course. And let me see. Oh, no back torso print on that. Neither that. So at least uh, back torso printing at this time was of course getting common as well and of course Harry's face print uh, which also reused in some of these other torso ones. And there's also her double side face. So first off for the builds for the one of Green Dotty, of course, where you get just one of the old time book pieces, just randomly. Of course, I think this might have been one of the last times we ever seen these book pieces till the new updated versions with like Nexo Knights and or something. You see it's kind of a little facade of a little section of Hogwarts, but at least this rod here, which is kind of one of the features, which we'll go over in a second. I can see some basic exact bricks. Well, and you wonder what the jumper is, which will also a feature, which I'll show in a second. Show in a little bit. Let me see a nice hollow area, probably to stand your Dobby me big on to, of course. There's and of course a pair of cone pieces with the tort with flame pieces on them. And on but on this side which you got black spider piece, older style one, and of course broom out with but on this other side which nothing at all. But instead of a spider, it is a gold stud. Probably representing a gold snitch, of course. But on the top part of which got a few jagged slopes and also this archway, but still in the sand green color, like the earlier sets also have. And also the recent 20th anniversary sets also did have, of course. So now on to the main feature of this is ooh, like if you had to lose this here and also with this rod here with tap on it and or if you push on it hard and makes them fly forward of course so which kind of a good kind of an alright good feature of it and yeah. although I think they could have like added in a bit more but whatever and now on to what the, the forbidden force set even though we did have plenty of Sets related to Forbidden Forest as well, of course. And I see just just like a lot of Lego trees we often had over time, of course. But also what is unique is this little mushroom piece, which is kind of common. And at least had made a good return in the Super Mario line, of course. And if you wonder what this Technic theme and these four jumpers are for as well, it'll be in that's the feature of it, which we'll go over in a second. But also on this one side, which got the like cones and or cones and uh, uh, flame pieces in blue, which nice to have. But also, of course, uh, which to put your Hagrid fig on tooth, uh, which quite just about like he did in the movies, of course. But as for this top area, which are of course bunch of jagged curved slopes of course and also the usual rooftop pieces this but held on by black plates which I think should have been dark brown as well but whatever and also another spider piece must be from the horde that Aragog led and so on to this one's main feature is if you like place 
carry on here and push on this and leaps forward of course. So, although if this one was to be remade, I think they also could have done like one that is the lake that or the frozen lake that Harry jumps into, of course, shirtless. But maybe that could be another set by itself or whatever. And so now on to the final verdict. So my overall word is, I think these of which are pretty good sets, or quite good sets for the times, like, get a couple of good iconic scenes from the first, second, and last movies, of course, and also do get, and of course, this was a good cheap way to get Voldemort, obviously, and also, probably the only way to get Narcissa Malfoy as well, and also a good cheap way to get Dobby, of course. At least until with the other sets that we had eventually, obviously. But also these of which do provide good parts packs, like like of course a good set to add into a forbidden forest display, obviously, and yeah. And so now if you're looking to get these sets for your uh, collections, definitely pick them up. Or if you still have and also if you have good memories of it from back then, or still have these from back then, well, hope you have good memories of them. And I'm sure hope, and if you can find these and these anywhere, then definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.